Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest AMD drivers onto the Asus ROG Ally. Why would you want to do that and why would you not want to stick with the official Asus uh, AMD drivers? It comes down to a game by game basis. In this case, um, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora has just been released and AMD has just released a fix for the drivers. Now, the manufacturers of devices such as the Lenovo Legion Go and the Asus ROG Ally lag behind with incorporating these fixes. So if you want to play a really fresh game um, but that needs fixes, you'll have to go on to the latest AMD drivers. Um, it's tricky, but it's not difficult if you follow the steps. So currently, I've actually got the, the latest drivers installed. Um, but what I'll do is I'll delete them as you would delete the, the drivers you have and install the, them again just so you can see the process. So you can see you'll hopefully end up on 23.12.1. So I should also say that I'm going to point out areas that should future proof um, this video so that it's not tied to just one specific version of the latest drivers. With that being said, let's start. So. First things first, if we go down onto the start menu and press the right uh, right trigger and we get this wonderful menu where you can do a lot of the things in Windows. Um, I've, I've used Windows for years and only just recently dis, uh, discovered this. So the first thing we're going to do is go into installed apps. And we're going to look for AMD. So if you, you, yours may be named something different, but we, we're going to go down, click on this, and then go to the, the triple dots and click on that and choose uninstall. And check uninstall again, and then click yes. So it'll just take a little while to do that. And there it's gone. So we can close that. The next thing I'm going to suggest doing is using the File Explorer. So if we click on this and go to this PC, uh, under it, this PC is the OS, uh, the C drive, and you'll see there's a, a folder called AMD. If it's not there, don't worry about it. You don't need to do this step, but right click on that and select the trash can and click. And it'll, it'll say, are you sure? And we are, so let's just do that. Brilliant, so next step. So what we've done there is just cleaned up the system ready for, for the latest. And if you truly want to clean up the system, right click on recycle bin and there should be empty recycle bin. Click on that and that just frees up space. And I say yes to all. Uh, skip all those and continue. Brilliant. So that's, that's now cleaned down that space. So pick the browser of your choice. It may be Bing that's installed on yours. I've got Chrome on here. So click and where we want to go um, if I bring the keyboard up, let's get rid of that. We want to go to amd.com forward slash en forward slash support. Don't worry, I'll put that in the description of this video. So that's where we want to go. So I'm going to select it. And that's there because I, I've obviously gone through this process to make sure that it all works first. So on this screen, let's scroll down. And we get to this bit, find drivers and support by selecting your product. So what we're looking for is processors with graphics in the first case. Then over in this one, we're looking for AMD Ryzen processors. And we're looking for 7 series, so AMD Ryzen 7 processors with Radeon graphics. And then on this menu, um, we want to choose the, seven, uh, the 70... 7840U. So it's the currently at the time of this video, it's the fifth option on the menu. Um, on the Lenovo Legion Go, I couldn't quite see. 
Um, but if you take the fifth option, uh, that should be the 77840U. Now when you click Submit, if it doesn't have 7840U up here, press the, the back button and that will take you back and you can reselect until you do get the right one. Now expand this bit, Windows 11 64-bit edition, and we're going to scroll down to AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, and we're going to click Download. Now this takes about it took about five minutes for me earlier, but it's it's whizzing by pretty pretty quickly, so I might actually let this go. Brilliant. So that's just wait for that to finalize and then it should have the folder symbol and we can just click on the folder. Now you'll see, I think if the file name was long enough, let me just expand. You'll see this has got one in brackets. That just means that it's a duplicate of one I've downloaded earlier, but it, it won't matter. You shouldn't see that slash one, but it will start with WHQL. So what we want to do is just double click on that and that should start the installation process. It should pop up a window shortly there, perfect timing. And we click yes and it'll start installing and this install should fail. Do not worry about that. That's fine. That's what we want. Oops, something went wrong. That's fine. So we just click close. Behind the scenes, what, what that's done is um, extract out all the files we'll need to complete the process. So if we come down here onto OS C, so the C drive again, and you'll see the folder we deleted earlier is now back, but this is with the latest software we need. So we click on AMD, AMD Software Installer, Packages, Apps, Drivers, Display, WTA64, and here we have, it should be a .in file. So yes, so, so this is the file that we'll actually want to install. Um, I was just showing you that there. Um, so what we want to do is close this window. I was just checking that it had extracted the right version. It will do. Um, so now if we go right click, we want to go up onto device manager and coming down onto display adapters. Now yours won't have this probably, but if you, if you right click on it and what we want to do is say update driver and browse my computer for drivers and let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then there should be this button have disk and we click browse now that whole directory structure i just went through earlier it is that but i'll go through it again so if we come back to the main root directory of c we're going on to amd AMD Software Installer, um, Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6A Inf. Okay, so here we can see the, the .inf file, that's the driver file. Now, at the time of this video, it will have this name. However, if you're uh, watching this back sometime in the future and we've had mo um, more recent versions of the AMD drivers, it, the, ch the name will change, but it seems to be the only file that will be listed here with a .inf extension in this particular directory. So whatever it's called, if it's you know weird characters and a number and .inf, then use that. I, I would say if you've got multiple .inf files, this video is no longer applicable and, and don't follow it for safety reasons. Okay, so we've selected that and I'm going to click OK. 
and then next. Oh, no, no, no. What, oh, what we really need to do is choose AMD Radeon TM780M graphics. It's got to be the 780M. And then click next. And it'll give you a warning, but just click yes to that. So while it's installing this, I'm going to leave it running. It may take a while, but you'll see it will, it will go, the screen will go blank. Perfect timing, look at that. And um, then there'll be a little bleep, then it'll come back. Um, it may do this once or twice. And then uh, I think if it does it twice, it's almost complete. It'll, it'll pop back up saying you've installed. So in fact, it just did it once for me and it's saying I can now close this. And do you want to restart your computer now? Don't don't restart just yet. We're going to be restarting after we do the next step. So click no. And I shall shut this. So the next step, we're going to go to File Explorer, C Drive, AMD, whoops, AMD Software Installer, Packages, Drivers, We've, we've done this before. Um, display W2ATA6A inf. Now, if you come down, currently this folder is named this B, and my eyesight is not reading it too well on the small screen. But essentially, um, at a future date, this folder name may be different. But what we can see is that all the other folders, so uh, I'll begin with A, and it's the only folder that begins with B. Um, so it would appear, if you've sorted by name, it would appear last in the list. So if there's a B sum number, use that. So if we click on that, there's a heck of a lot of files in here, but the one we're interested in, if we come up to the right and go into search, and um, if I can get the keyboard up, oh, it, it came up and then disappeared. Come on. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so if I click into it and scroll down here and just trigger the keyboard myself, come back up and click into it again and just type C. Now this is meant to be a quick way of doing it, but it's been playing up a little bit. So double click on this. And we're gonna do go through the setup. Let me take the keyboard out of the way. Oops, and minimize that. So it'll get to 100%, and as, as in Windows progress bars, it will sit for a little while before completing. And... I saw a little bit of movement there. I thought it was complete. There we go. So that's now complete. And what we want to do now is restart the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause while it restarts, just so you don't see me enter a pin number or anything. So that's us back from the reboot. And now if you go over into the right hand side, into this little up arrow symbol or a carrot or whatever it's meant to be. And you can see on the taskbar, we've now got the AMD software adrenaline edition. So double click on that. And it should show you as 2312.1. Now, when I, when I, this isn't behaving exactly as it did when I uh, installed this the first time. It did ask me for a few sort of settings. And I just went, you know, I just said, put it into default mode. And so you've now got the drivers uh, from AMD installed on your Asus ROG Ally. At the time of doing this, I, I installed this for Avatar as mentioned. Um, I've, I've run through it 
you can now use um, FSR3 with frame generation on. Now, let it settle down. I thought that this would fix nothing. Um, it takes a little while. You'll have a couple of long stutters. But then I was playing and it was really smooth with really infrequent um, stutters, which may not be a driver issue. It may be just that the RAM just isn't there on this device, but it's perfectly playable. Thank you for watching.